If I told you you could have a weekend escape to a city with 270 days of sunshine per year and a youthful city at that with the average age being 36, would you go? Welcome to Jacksonville. More than a city with 840 square miles, Jacksonville is the largest city by landmass in the U.S. How we handle our fears will determine where we go with the rest of our lives. I'm Sarah, an adventure and luxury travel blogger from Orlando. When I'm not exploring my home state of Florida, I'm traveling around the world and the US trying to find adventure in everyday life. Facing my fears and finding unique adventures and experiences to share and inspire. Be brave with me and face our fears together and subscribe. Welcome to Jacksonville Beach, guys. I'm here to show you this week how to do Jacksonville right from the beach to the state parks and amazing food and coffee options this place is definitely a city that you shouldn't overlook on your next trip to Florida here I'm at be a nomads Airbnb property right on the beach they have multiple ones to choose from and this one is a townhome located one block from the beach. So excited to be able to stay here and get a new take on to Florida because this is one of my first times staying in Jacksonville Beach and I'm excited to do it with Be A Nomad. Let's go. Welcome home. Oh wow, this is amazing. And we finally checked in and walked into this beautiful living space area. I'm so excited to be able to TV to chill and watch some movies. When we're not outside exploring, and there's a nice bathroom here. And around the corner, we have a beautiful kitchen with a nice big island. They have coffee here, a Keurig machine. Everything makes you feel as if you're home and just, yeah, just really easy to fall right into a nice vacation routine here. And upstairs, we have the bedrooms. Yes, I said bedrooms. And this place is perfect to host quite a few people at. There's two queen beds here and a nice bathroom here as well. And then around the corner. Wow. And everything you need is here. There's the shampoo, conditioner, desk. So if you need to get some work done while you're away or maybe you're doing a workation. And that's it, that's the room tour. What's in here? Okay, there's a closet. <laughs> that's it for this Airbnb. Let's go explore. <laughs> Well, Jacksonville's only a two hour drive from Orlando, I definitely needed some coffee for a pick me up before exploring. <laughs> now we have a coffee! Yay, coffee! Also, they have an amazing array of beach activity gear for you bike, chairs, boogie boards, want other chairs. There's just literally so much to be happy for about this place. I'm very excited to go to the beach now and just relax for a bit. Let's go. We're just walking to the beach, just one block away, which is super nice. So I want to check out the neighborhood and see where like the Jacksonville Beach Pier is, what restaurants, shops, or whatever is nearby, yeah. and then relax and check out the town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Party. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> On a Monday in Jacksonville. Let's see what's up. Jacksonville has over 22 miles of beaches and over 1,100 miles of navigable waters and shorelines. There are so many water activities you can do, including beach volleyball, as well as going fishing off of the Jacksonville Pier. Whether you want to stay in a vacation rental or the new Margaritaville Beach Hotel, or stay in something historic and classy like a Marina Hotel. Also, you can go there, even if you're not staying, and check out the Penthouse Lounge. There's something for everyone. Getting hungry? Head to Neptune Beach where you can eat at Poe's Tavern. Have some of the best burgers of your life inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's books before heading to Wits for some famous frozen custard. As night falls and music comes out, head to Lynch's for some amazing live music. 
Wherever I go, I love to explore amazing coffee shops, and Sago Coffee is just that. This modern coffee shop is perfect to grab a cup of coffee to go or to chill for a little bit. All the locals recommended I treat myself to mini bar donuts, and they were totally right. So we're just here at the mini bar after a slow start to the morning, but a much needed rest. We are here getting some sweets and sugar and coffee to just start the day right and then head to Jacksonville to the Riverwalk to check it out and some other spots that you must check out when you're in Jacksonville. But for now, we're gonna enjoy some of these donuts and hopefully not get diabetes. Next, I headed to Jacksonville to explore the downtown. It's a wonderful morning in Jacksonville. We're here in downtown Jacksonville at the famous river walk. Normally you can come here and see the Friendship Fountain with the beautiful view of the skyline. They're doing a little bit of construction if you may hear behind me. But the river walk is a beautiful place to come visit, to take a bike ride or a stroll with the Jacksonville skyline and the St. John River right beside you. So definitely when you're in Jacksonville, hit this place up. There's many museums around here as well as just a great outdoors area to experience when you're in Jacksonville. But for now, let's continue on the Riverwalk. Just here in Jacksonville at the Riverwalk and this is such a beautiful day and place to come for a nice bike ride or walking along the beautiful Jacksonville skyline of downtown. There's also water taxis here as well. You can see stadium and the amazing Jacksonville skyline. A reason to love Jacksonville is because they appreciate the outdoors. Here at Treaty Oak Park, you can explore a 250-year-old oak that is older than the city itself. It's amazing and why you should visit is there's so many parks. There's over 400 city parks. And Jacksonville, of course, is the largest city and landmass in the whole United States. So there's definitely a lot to check out when you're here and a lot of outdoor activities as well. That's why I always have my bike with me so I can explore and get around. But definitely come check out this huge old tree when you're in town. It's not even that far from Riverwalk where there's plenty of restaurants, shopping, and just a really nice walk to enjoy the Jacksonville skyline. Jacksonville's slogan is, it's easier here, and it really is. The access to nature, as well as a unique, vibrant arts and cultural scene downtown is just one of the many allures of this beautiful city. We're here at Sweet Pete's, a local candy factory, and this place is super pretty. Check to see if it's open because we just happen to be here to walk around downtown Jacksonville. Let's go inside. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Welcome to Sweet Peaks. It's a local candy factory that's in the heart of downtown Jacksonville. And it is so beautiful and full of spring here. Sweet Pete's is a local candy company. And here you have three floors of magic. It makes you feel like you're in Willy Wonka. But here you can come for ice cream or candy making classes. Another thing to love about Jacksonville is it is a true city with diverse neighborhoods. And one of my favorite was Five Points. Welcome to Five Points, a unique, historic, and hipster neighborhood in Jacksonville. There are so many different restaurants and everything is kind of quirky. There is a rooftop bar, there's places to go shopping, little boutiques, you name it, they have it here. And it is so cute. I came here, checked out the Brew Five Points coffee shop, which is awesome, and tried a colosh and a cha dirty chai latte. And now I'm just heading back to Jacksonville Beach, maybe stop in Riverside, another neighborhood. But yeah, just right now we're exploring what Jacksonville has to offer, and so far I'm liking what I see. After some exploring, it was time to go to the beaches after some afternoon showers. 
time for sunset on Jacksonville Beach. Of course, it's better known for sunrise, which I hope to wake up more tomorrow morning. Today was a late start, but I'm so excited for the rest of our time here. And tonight's trivia, which should be pretty fun. Being a block away from the beach at our Airbnb definitely had its perks. I enjoyed immensely being able to just go take a walk on the beach. I definitely could enjoy this beach life. Where would you say? Let me know in the comments. The beach or the city? No one told me Jacksonville Beach had so much going on. Every night of the week there was something happening. From trivia at a Hoppinger, Taco Tuesday at the Shim Sham, and live music at Lynch's. It is such a great city to go if you're looking to have a good time. One thing I miss about living up north are traditional family bakeries, and Cenotes is just that. Located in Jacksonville Beach, there are so many great cupcakes and food options, including bomb breakfast sandwiches. After breakfast, it was time to head to Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve, 46,000 acres managed by the National Park Service. Who knew there was a national park in Jacksonville? But here you can explore Fort Caroline, 6,000 years of history, as well as visit Kingsley Plantation. Hello from Timucuan National Preserve and Historical Site in Jacksonville, Florida. This is definitely a bumpy road and we're heading to the Kingsley Plantation. Cannot wait to see what we have in store at Kingsley Plantation. Welcome to Kingsley Plantation. Hello from Timucuan National Preserve. Here we are at the Kingsley Plantation, which was sadly a plantation that had slaves on it. Slavery is a part of the history of Florida, and we still have this beautiful building behind us, as well as slave quarters out in the distance that is where they used to live. And they were built out of tabby, so it's very, very fragile. But this place is preserved by the National Park Service, and it's so beautiful out here. It's it's on this national preserve and there's so much beautiful nature here as well. It's definitely worth a stop. I didn't even know this existed until I came to Jacksonville and I'm glad we came out here because the ride out here was super beautiful. It's just a nice piece of history to learn about because we can't forget that this is also a part of the history of Florida. Kingsley Plantation is open Wednesday through Sunday and there are ranger led tours here as well so you can learn about the history of this historic plantation and Timucuan National Preserve. Right now it is a bit quiet but it's actually very beautiful and you just hear the sounds of nature and birds chirping away. Now we shall explore and get a little closer. Today is so beautiful. We're at Little Talbot Island State Park. There's just this huge beach that it stretches, it looks like, for miles. And it is a bit wavy, but the water is still the perfect temperature to cool off. I am very glad we came here. There's bike trails, hiking trails, places for picnics. Definitely a great quiet beach just outside of Jacksonville and Timucuan National Preserve. Definitely recommend and yeah, just relaxing, having a snack. And then we'll probably head back to Jacksonville Beach and then tomorrow go kayaking. The beaches area of Jacksonville is made up of three areas, Neptune Beach, Atlantic Beach, and Jack's Beach. Starting out the morning right with Southern Ground Coffee, I headed to Neptune Beach for a beach and then boat day. We headed to the famous Lemon Bar for some live music and fun in the sun before heading to Flying Iguana for lunch to meet a friend that was going to take us out tubing and wakeboarding. Dockside Seafood was the perfect launching point to grab some snacks the for the boat. I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. We push it right on through. I know you need it too. Because we have been working hard right from the very start. Stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it. Mate. Call it a day and say. 
Driving a boat for the first time was one of my favorite experiences in Jacksonville, but the next day I definitely needed a relaxing morning and headed to Big Talbot Island State Park to go to Boneyard Beach. Hello from Big Talbot Island State Park. We're here at Boneyard Beach. And as you can tell, it's a Boneyard Beach because of all these dead trees. All this driftwood just hanging out here on the beach. And it makes for a very eerie and, I don't know, kind of mystical beach. I don't know. I didn't even realize we had something like this in Florida, honestly. Yeah, it's but cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you're here, it's a short little hike from the parking area and you can get some pretty sweet photos when you're not freezing. I know, uh -huh. exactly. The weather today is kind of it's cold. Chilly. Yeah. But Windy. yes, we're gonna head to Amelia Island and maybe go do some kayaking. Yeah. Depending on the weather. I'm putting Woo! on my sweatpants and my sweatshirt. And yeah. We'll go. I won't have Florida problems. girls. It's yeah. 70 degrees and we're I know cold. we're cold. <laughs> but yes, for now we're gonna enjoy the walking. Woo! <laughs> One thing to know about Jacksonville and basically all of Florida is that the weather can change in the flip of a switch. But one thing I love to do when I'm in a place is kayak. The weather wasn't going to stop us. We headed out with Amelia Adventures. 45 minutes north of Jacksonville, head to Amelia Island and you can go paddling through places like Egan's Creek and Lofton Creek for a great experience in nature. Before heading home, we headed to Five Points to the rooftop at Hoppinger for some food and relax. If you enjoyed this guide, please subscribe to my channel. There's more to come like it. Also, comment if you have any questions about this underrated city in Florida.